Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rof Yasin, and in this video, we are going to create QR code in the ASP.NET Core MVC, and we are using .NET 5, which is the latest .NET framework at the time of recording. And by the way, if you are new to .NET 5, it is basically a unified version, which which is cross-platform version. And I have already explained uh, all about the .NET 5 things uh, in my previous video, and in order to save uh, our, our time, I I am not, not, not going to create a new project because this project we have created in our previous video where we, we perform thread operations uh, using .NET, uh, .NET 5 MVC and uh, SQL Server and Entity Framework Co. And I will continue that project because I have already explained about how to set up the things as a starting point. So in this video straight away, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a QR code gen uh, generation system, which will uh, immediately generate QR code on the basis of some number or on the basis of some text. So let's go ahead and right click on the controller and add controller. And add, I'm gonna name this controller as QR controller. I'll remove this one symbol from here and I'll add this will be our QR code controller and this index action will basically will return a simple view. So I'm going to add a view, razor view, add view and this will be an empty view. Obviously it has nothing to do, it has nothing uh, in this view. Basically this will, there will be a button or uh, an anchor tag which will be responsible for uh, uh, calling an endpoint in our controller. Uh, any endpoint, let's say we have booking action or we have any other uh, endpoint which we will be calling from our view. So that's why we're creating this view. So this is our view. So let's say, let me change this to QR code generation. And let's say I have uh, an anchor tag and we have ASP net controller of QR controller. By the way, I think it is not necessary if we are writing a complete controller or not. We don't need controller. Basically, we just need the action. So we will call ASP dash action and action. Let's say we have this booking action. We, we are let's say we are creating some sort of booking website where we are going to perform booking and we will finally generate a QR code as a result of booking. So I will write book now and it, it will hit this action booking in, in our controller. So we'll have to call this controller. So I will call public i action result book now. And let's say return view. And for the time being, I'm going to add another view uh, view for this book booking. Add view. Razor view add. And I'm going to create an empty view for this. So. Let's go ahead and add and div class of alert alert dash info and let's quickly add your booking has been successful just for the testing we'll we'll generate QR code in a second just for the testing just go ahead and run this application so we've got our application up and running so I can navigate to QR slash index and this is a default uh, link let me change this to something uh, let me add some classes bootstrap classes so i can add class btn btn dash primary and let's refresh this so that it looks little bit better and tell that let's go ahead and add a breakpoint here and why it is taking so long? Here we go. So we've got this button. When we click here, look, we're hitting this booking action. So let me continue this one. And we've got your booking has, has been uh, successful. So now what we've got, uh, we have an, a, an booking uh, form. Let's say we have a booking form here and we when we are Clicking on booking, it is passing some model and information here. And over here, you will have to, after finalizing your booking, you will have to generate the QR code uh, 
so that customer can scan that QR code on uh, in front of sales representative and some, do some sort of business. So, in order to create QR code, we'll have to add a new get package. So I'm going to uh, right click and manage new get packages, and over here I will write QR coder. This is the package we'll have to download. Uh, this is QR coder and we'll click this install. Perfect, our package has been installed successfully. So the next thing is to write the QR code. So I have already told you uh, when we are coming from that index form, this index form where we have this button, you will write all your model and form booking form here and you will catch all the booking information here. You will made your booking in the database like booking stuff here and you'll get and get booking id from db or whatever or context class whatever you have uh, at this stage and after this basically we are going to write code for the qr code so we are assuming let let me create a random class or equals to new random And let me add a number equals to or dot next. And this is basically just a random class to generate some random numbers in the C shop. So I'm creating an integer variable which will store the next random variable which this will start. So this will be the we have third overload. We will use this one minimum value and let's say we've got this maximum value. So it will generate this number some number. Let me some number between these two and it will assign to this number we are assuming this number we, we have got from our db or context class after booking so after this i will write qr code generator control dot import the namespace using qr coder so this is the namespace uh, that we need so we'll write qr code generator equals to new qr code generator that's it and after that we will write qr code data qr code data data equals to qr generator dot create code and we have some parameters we'll have to pass the payload and we have binary data we have payload and we have like plenty of stuff here We'll have to pass. Uh, we'll use the second overload. We'll have to pass uh, the random number that we've generated uh, in above. So this number will pass, and we'll pass another information QR code generator. So we mix the name QR code generator dot e c c l level dot q. Okay. So this is the level we'll have to define and over here it, it is expecting us to string by the way you can pass anything here for your QR, QR code like booking info and booking ID and all the stuff you, you want to pass but for the time being we are just passing this random number dot to string as a data to uh, that, that that will be used to generate our QR code okay and the next thing we'll have to do QR code finally code or it's better to write qr code equals to new qr code and we'll pass it is expecting us a parameter let me qr code data will will have to pass this data as a parameter to this variable uh, this function to the constructor okay so finally we've got this qr code now what we're going to do we will use using memory stream Using system.io ms equals to new memory stream, and after that, we'll have to set up another using for the bitmap. So we'll use bitmap control dot using system dot drawing. We'll have to import this namespace and we'll write bitmap equals to QR code our variable dot get graphic and we'll pass a 
pixels per module so let let go, let's go, go for the default pixel 20 pixels and after that we'll set up this thing so over here we, we will use our bitmap vari variable bitmap dot save and we will save our mem our qr code uh, into memory stream so we'll use image format image format control dot import the namespace uh, By the way, I'll have to set image format dot png. Okay, so this is uh, basically we're saving our QR code uh, into image format in our memory stream. Finally, we've got uh, uh, we'll we'll pass this QR code to some sort of let's say you have an email here. You can pass your QR code through email to the customer. So if you want to show this uh, QR code uh, as a booking successful. Uh, uh, on the web application you can show so i'm going for the booking, booking successful if you are interested uh, to learn how to pass this, this generated qr code how to send this generated qr code to your uh, to, to your customer's email you can let me know in the comment section when i'll update and i'll add another video because this is the stuff i've, I've already done in many web applications so you have to uh, let let's have a uh, quick hint uh, you have two options First, you can save this QR code into your web web, uh, web server, and you can send uh, link the path of that web server to the uh, e uh, image tag of your HT e email template HTML. Otherwise, you can use linked resources uh, like alternative view for the HTML, and you can pass your generated images without saving anywhere. Okay, so we are using. Uh, view bag so we will we can use view bag so we will write qr code image equals to and we'll have to set this is very important we'll have to set data img data image slash png because vng is the type of data then we'll have to set base 64 and after that we'll have to concatenate to convert dot to base 64 string and we have our memory stream array and that's it okay so we've got this is like we have qr code image within this variable and for the clarification let me uh, create another variable let me uh, create another variable for yeah uh, booking id booking id equals to number dot to string okay so this is the booking id and the QR code because we are generating uh, QR code on the basis of this number. So this number basically, this booking ID will be similar, and the QR code will contain the same information uh, as a booking ID. Okay. And as I already explained you, you can add any information. You can add uh, booking reference, blah 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 blah. And you can concatenate this information and you can pass all the information to your QR code generation system. Okay, so I'm just using this simple number just to demonstrate. Okay, so we've got QR code image and uh, booking. So let me just copy so that I can use this one stuff. Okay, so we have QR code image in the booking.cshtml. So we've got after this we will use this variable just copy this and come to your booking and over here i will use an if condition and i will write view back dot image not equals to null if it is not equals to null so it means that our booking is successful and we've been uh, successful by generating our qr code so over here within this i can write your booking has been successful and after that i can write h3 and I can write booking number is at viewback dot. But we got another variable booking ID, and we can write that ID here. So this is this will be just to indicate what is the booking number if uh, if they are not using the QR code scanner to indicate the correct booking number. And after that, I will use image source equals to viewback dot 
QR code image as a source of image and alternative booking QR code and I can apply some inline style to set the height of 200 pixels and width of 200 pixels and here we go okay so this will be the success view else we can write else condition as well and we can display uh, if something happens wrong so div class equals to alert alert dash danger okay so let's get started So here we go, we can directly navigate to our QR code slash index view. What is taking so long? So we've got this QR code generation. Let's click on book now. Perfect. We have successfully got this is our booking number and this is our QR code. Now you can send this QR code to wherever you want and if you have got uh, a QR code scanner application or QR code scanner device you can scan this QR code this uh, QR code will give you the exact this booking ID and if you come here in QR controller if you want to store some other information within this QR code you can store as well so this was just a quick tutorial how you can create QR code if you are interested to uh, learn about sending these QR codes in emails or if you want to learn more about .NET 5, .NET Core MVC, you can obviously let me know in the comment box. I'll I'll upload and I'll I'll be reading your comments uh, and I'll I'll record new videos regarding your comment suggestions. And more importantly, if you like my my content, you can obviously support me by buying me a coffee. I'll drop the link for the Buy Me Coffee uh, website down in the description in the comment section as well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.